Hey guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. In today's tutorial, let's take a look at how you can easily configure a card to make it a responsive and WYSIWYG web builder. If you haven't watched my previous tutorial on how to work with card container, kindly do so using a card in the top right section of this video. Now let's get back into the video. So this is a sample page I actually have designed here and um, this is just a layout grid with a text in it. Um, that's a heading text as well as another layout grid. And then I have a card container too in here. So as you can see, this is a card container as well as some cards, which has an icon and then a text. So I'm not going to walk through how to go about this. Um, I want us to go ahead to look at how we can make this responsive. So under normal circumstance to make this responsive, you simply will have to click on the um, manage breakpoint um, object here and then create your breakpoint. So I'm going to create for 320 and then I'm going to create for 480 pixels. And then I'm also going to create for 768 pixels and then click on OK, click on OK. So I have my breakpoints created. And once I click on the breakpoint mark, I can easily switch uh, among them. But you can notice or realize that uh, once I get to the mobile version, this isn't looking good. And I want to be able to control how this is going to look. That is especially on mobile devices. Um, that is going to be a bit different from how it is going to also look on a desktop device. So let me come back to my breakpoint to on 768 pixels. This looks fine. But when I come to 480 pixels, that is where we seem to have an issue. Now, let me just go ahead and then preview this in the browser so we can take a look at it. So let me just um, go to the responsive mode from here. So this is my responsive mode. Let me just switch to 480 pixels um realize this doesn't really look that good here so let's see how best we can um correct this so once we come back to wizard web builder all you have to do is to double click on the card container object here and then this time around you come to the configuration aspect now i have configured my card container to be in the carousel mode so that is what i have in here this is going to um you know make it move in the form of a carousel now in the settings mode, what I have to change over here or tweak just a little bit has to do with how many objects I want to have per, um, should I say a column? Um, that is when it is being, you know, um, sliding, um, here. So under normal circumstance, because I have five objects over here, it means I have created five columns. Now on this particular breakpoint, I want to be able to change that. So in this case, I might want to maybe try to and see so in this case if i'm trying to this is how it is going to look that would mean that i'll have three slides so this is one this is one and then that that is the last one that would mean i'll have three slides in here because i have a total of five objects and i want to have two columns per um that is the slide so this looks okay so let me just go ahead and preview this in the browser again let me come back to my responsive section and um, okay, so the reason why this isn't um, taking effect is because I'm actually on a desktop device. Under normal circumstance, uh, if I was to be on a mobile device, they should have um, looked great. So as you can see, as I change this to a mobile phone over here, this looks um, awesome. So the same thing I'll have to do for the 320 pixels breakpoint. So once I come in here, I need to change the number of column counts over here. So in this case, I'm just going to do one. And mind you, once you change this, it doesn't affect the other breakpoint. So as you can see, I have um, one for 320 pixels and that has given me five, you know, slides, you know, because I have a total of um, five items or five cards in my card container. And then if I switch back to my 480 pixels breakpoint and um, the default breakpoint, it doesn't um, change how the um, behave or you know function so let me just come back to as you can see i have just one slide over here which has all the five objects if i come here it's going to be same once i switch here it's two now and if i come here it is one so let me preview this also and let's take a look at how this is also going to look in the browser so let me come to my responsive mode here and as you can see i have um this so once i begin to go a bit and you know scale a bit down in you have this switching to just one column. So this is one way you can go about configuring your um, card containers in WYSIWYG Web Builder, which will make it a bit cool in case you have a lot more objects or items you want to showcase, but don't want to take the entire space. You can go about using this particular tool to do that. So 
Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly go ahead and then do so. And then hit on the notification button so that anytime I upload a new video, you get to see it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.